So the next piece is how do you create video testimonials? What do you get people to say? That uh, we have a website where we went to everything became spoken in the word of the patient and it radically improved patient conversion. The website became so much more compelling. All the social media became more compelling. Everything was a quote. Everything was, it just, the whole thing started to hinge on social proof and people telling stories and everybody loves a story. And so I want everyone to think about heading towards that. So the first big secret to, uh, to great video production is wipe off that filthy, dirty lens. Um, more hazy, crappy videos are because there's a big fingerprint on it. Almost always your phone coming out of your pocket's dirty. They keep your fingers out of the way, wipe it off. You're gonna have a radically better video. The next thing is you've got to stabilize the camera. Uh, a little tripod will improve your production quality radically. The next thing after stabilizing the camera is add an external microphone, uh, best $60 you'll ever spend in terms of production quality. Like if you can get good audio and reasonable video, you're well on your way to having a great result. And uh, yeah, just by putting your camera in a tripod and plugging in an external microphone that you can buy on Amazon, uh, it's got huge value. The next thing for videos is you're really building a set, you know, you're really, or you're really looking at your space as if it were a set. So make sure your lights are high quality and uh, make sure you're setting up a couple places where people look good on camera. There's no reason why you can't take your little camera, turn it sideways and take a dynamite portrait of a person where you can take someone with something where someone looks really, really good and it's about tuning in to the lights. It's about tuning in to the, the room itself, getting people comfortable and shooting a nice, a nice portrait. Um, there's just that, that before and after photo is just, the clinical shot is not so far from a portrait shot with a little more thought about the lighting, a little more thought about the, the set, where they are. And if you can make that person look comfortable and make that person tell an awesome story, uh, that's the stuff that, that separates practices from the masses. So here is a very classic interview setup. You've got your main light, you've got a second light kind of off to the side, like this is a great, and, and this doesn't have to be this can be a desk lamp, a, a little floor lamp, and a, a, a this is three, any three lights can set this up. It's a state of mind. So as you look at where you're gonna be taking these videos and where you're gonna be creating this content that's gonna ideally really tell your story and be easier to make than any other content because someone else is really generating it, uh, all you need is three lights set up in these three positions, any three lights. So this is another kind of classic setup. This is the one for producing your own video. Uh, two desk lamps on either side of you makes for a very nice, filled in, reasonable shot. Uh, you can put your phone in a tripod. You can use the camera on your computer. And again, these cameras are all pretty much awesome. Like pretty much the cameras that we were spending $100,000 on 10 years ago are now in your phone. And uh, so this lighting setup, if you wanted to make a series of FAQs, it would be easier to record them and transcribe them than to sit down and write them on your computer. And it would have radically more value for the practice. And it would give you some kind of syndicatable content that you could release on your website, on your blog, on your social media for who knows how long. And again, it's about setting it up properly. It's about really looking at it critically and then making something awesome. So if you're trying to get a good patient interview, these are the questions you need to ask. You need to break it into kind of a timeline. You need to tell them to have a, a start, middle, and end. Like you don't, what you don't want is one seven minute testimonial. What you do want is someone to repeat the question. You know, well, choosing a, choosing a surgeon's a big, a big choice. And I looked all around at different websites and I found Dr. Jones because, you know, I really liked his website and uh, that's how I chose him. You know, like that would be what you ideally want to get is little bite-sized pieces because they're easy to cut off the front and the back and then you have a standalone video and then you can string them together to make 
a longer video very easily. So make sure the person is talking about each little section separately, like day of surgery. Well, on my day of surgery, I came in, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, and that's what my day of surgery was. Like that's the setup you want is to build little easy to assimilate pieces because you can then serialize those on your website as a series of seven very short videos or you can string them together very easily even with YouTube uh, to make one long video and uh, it becomes a very easy manageable resource. The second piece more important than any of that is to get a person to tell a story that people love stories that stories are are you remember stories you don't remember facts and slides and and anything you remember things people talk about so how you get that is you say uh, is there a time you remember when you felt more confident or where you really noticed that this was this surgery was something you wanted to do like that's kind of the setup for getting people to tell a good story and talk about their experience and uh, tell them straight out like is there could you tell your story uh, about your experience since since this procedure has been done and uh, or when you were able to to really interact with your kids where you noticed something at work that, that that's the best content is where people start telling a story and it resonates and it has massive massive social proof like if you had a website full of stock photos and then a website full of stories about people's experiences that there's just no competition right and if you want to really set yourself apart and really have content that 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 is way beyond you know an article about skincare an article about top 10 reasons to get a breast you know all that bs like if you start to hinge your practice on people's stories like it's a radical radical idea